Okay, so we're in Marshall Leach's old audio engineering lab. This is the Leach amplifier, or one of the many versions. And there's a student here that was repairing it. And one side has a match set of transistors at the input. Yep. And the other side, in the process of repairing, didn't bother matching the transistors, just as an experiment to see if that made a significant difference. So this is all plugged up to the Audio Precision 555 audio analyzer. analyzer. So let's take a look at your findings here. So we see channel two is the one without the matched pair, and we can see that it's got a significantly higher um, DC offset than the one with the matched pair. But the funny thing is, if we turn on the generator, we see that the distortion level is almost identical. And Where's the distortion, distortion level at? Because right these here. guys here? So it's almost identical, and I doubt you'd be able to hear a difference. Right. And the DC level, really, speakers don't care about such a tiny DC level. So I think it doesn't really matter. You don't really have to have a mashed pair. So what is SINAD? SINAD is kind of the calculated ratio between signal and noise and distortion. So... Okay, Leech actually yeah. make it... Okay, here's the FFT. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. All right. Make it stop making that noise. The distortion versus power plot is yeah. here. So we can we can do a sweep here. So it's changing the generator level. And so apologize to the folks watching this to have to hear this sine wave all the time. <laughs> so it's increasing the power level and so we're seeing the distortion at different yes. levels of power. So this drop right here that we see. Really, yeah, what's going on there? That means that because the noise really stays the same. So this drop that we see right here means that the noise relative to the signal is, the ratio is getting lower. So the noise doesn't change. And then right. this right here we see is the amplifier clipping. So that's when the distortion comes up. And which one is matched and which one is so unmatched? So the unmatched is red, matched is blue, but we see this right here is mostly, I think, due to the DC offset, not so much of the distortion. Oh, okay. And the power level it produces is the same as you'd expect. Interesting. Thank you very much. That's interesting. You will never see an FFT as detailed as this instrument just because of how it's specifically designed for audio. It's got some really special DSP inside to do this. This is the Audio Precision 555 Audio Analyzer. Excellent.